Hey everybody, RC here, and we're here with Niels Kokomo from Google. Hey. We want to give you a couple of tips to make your experience in Snapseed a great one. Let's talk about rotate versus transform. Two filters that both can rotate the picture, but a big difference between them. When you rotate with rotate, you can rotate the picture up to 45 degrees, and as you see, you will lose a lot of picture surface when rotating that way. The upside of the rotate, fil rotate filter is it can do up to 45 degrees. The transform filter can do less. However, when I do rotate in the transform filter, you will see that the software magically fills in the corners. So you're not making the picture any smaller when you're rotating. Sometimes creating that special look inside a Snapseed is great and you want to be able to apply that to another image. Let me show you how. Here we have the image open and you'll see that you have four items that sit inside of a stack. Clicking on that will show you all of the individual items. Just click on the little three dot in the corner and then select copy. Once you click on close, you can go ahead and open up another image, select that image, click on the stack, click on the three dots, and select insert. And in no time flat, that look has been applied to the new image. Let's talk about the brush filter. The brush filter is a very powerful tool to darken and brighten the picture. When in the brush filter, I'm making a finger brush stroke, you will see that I locally brighten up the picture. There is one easy way to make the brush a lot smaller or a lot bigger. When I zoom in, the picture while pinching, you will find out that there's a circle, a dashed line, that indicates how large the brush is. So when I brush now, while zoomed in, you will see that I have a lot finer brush. Reversely, when I zoom out, you will see that the brush gets disproportionately larger. So I can now make one huge brush stroke over the sky and you will see that I've darkened the sky in one brush stroke. There are times where you're gonna to want to apply specific effects to portions of an image. Who knew you had layer control right inside of the app? Here I have this one picture. I'm gonna go ahead and apply an effect. Let's say that I want to apply some tonal contrast. I'll select some low tones and I'll apply it. And you'll notice that it does affect the sky a little bit here. Click on the checkbox, go into the stack itself, click on the flyout, and here you have a brush. That brush will then let you paint in that effect to one specific area. If you wanna see where it is, click on the eyeball. That'll show you the mask. Now you have that just in one area. Let's talk about comparing pictures in Snapseed. When you're on the main screen in Snapseed, just tap the picture and you will see the before and after of your result. So I tap the picture, the frame is off, I let go of the finger and the frame as an example is on again. Now, when you're in a filter, let's say tune image, and let me apply some ambience here. Um, I cannot touch the picture because touching the picture refers to changing parameters. So in the filter you have at the bottom, at the top right, you have the compare icon, which lets you compare before and after in the picture right away. Snapseed is a wonderful app to take your photography even further. Now, if you want to see more on this, we have an entire class on this at kelby1.com slash snapseed. Niels, thanks so much for stopping by. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon.